Course in Miracles says that enlightenment is a shift in self-perception from body identification to spirit identification. Now, none of that's hard, but it's different. It's simple, but life is complicated. So when you say, how do we do it? Well, two things come up for me. Number one is there's so much for us to embrace about the power of every morning. Because when you wake up in the morning and you go directly to social media, directly to the news, directly to the stuff of the world, it's like you're just saying to the world and to the worst aspects of the world, come on, eat me alive. Take my nervous system. Make me crazy. Come on, do it. And especially like before political campaign and stuff, we're all just like this. And every, every religious tradition I've ever read about talks about the power of the morning to calm, whether it's the lessons of the Course, uh, transcendental meditation, some mindfulness exercise, Buddhist, Kabbalistic, whatever, to align the nervous system with the truth of who we are. The Course in Miracles says even five minutes in the morning will guarantee that the Spirit will be in charge of your thought forms throughout the day. It doesn't mean you're going to be an enlightened master, but it means that the chances of you really falling off this spiritual wagon, saying something, doing something, sending an email, writing a tweet that you're going to go, oh, why did I do that? Your chances are much less. Of that. And also, the chances are much greater that you'll catch yourself when you do and you can atone and make amends. The second thing is to recognize that everything we go through in life is part of a what the Course in Miracles calls a highly individualized curriculum. Everyone we meet, every situation we're in is perfect for what we can learn that moment, that day. Are you showing up in your best? Are you showing up with a give mentality or get mentality? Is your heart open or is your heart closed? Are you there in support of others? Are you only thinking about yourself? And uh, it's, it's, it's about using every experience to train our attitudinal muscles. There is physical gravity. You, you go to the gym because at a certain age, if you're not holding those muscles up, Gravity is bringing them down. But there's emotional and psychological gravity too. If we're not exercising with accumulated repetitions of positivity and graciousness and forgiveness and mercy and personal responsibility, then we're headed down to anger, to um, uh, cynicism, to anxiety, to depression. And that's really where we are right now. We're at a moment where you're either headed down or headed up. The, the, you know, we've had this myth of, the, of neutrality, but there's really no such thing as a neutral thought. There's no such thing as a neutral life. Either our energy is being sucked into this maelstrom that's at this point a downward spiral, and you see it all around us, uh, institutions crumbling, people's relationships, how people feel about themselves— or you're part of this evolutionary spiraling up that is also happening, that we're all, you know, and the kind of people who would be listening to your podcast feel part of and want to be part of. These two simultaneous phenomena happening at the same time. 